I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. We are doing a piano uh, giveaway, a uh, restoration giveaway that is. Here is our homepage, Piano Legacy Project Restoration Giveaway. We restore lots and lots of pianos, um, and they're, they're usually uh, uh, family heirlooms, that's the vast majority of them, because pianos, I think they just lend themselves particularly well to to sentimentality, kind of, kind of across space and time, quite literally, joining families together. And, and the common thread in, in a lot of these stories from generation to generation is the piano. So we're, we're uh, collecting stories about, uh, about how pianos do just that. And uh, we're gonna watch a video together. I haven't seen this video, but uh, the administrators have seen it. And uh, let's see how the the piano has impacted this family. We'll be we'll be choosing a winner here pretty soon. We're we're pretty close. So uh, let's watch this. The Dixon family piano. What a blessing it's been to have. Uh, this is part of our family uh, for I guess really generations. But in our home, directly for the last. Uh, about 27 years. The piano originated, it was uh, manufactured Iverson Pond in Chicago, and my great grand That's a very ornate piano, and Iverson Pond is, is a really good maker too. We've done some, we're actually working on one right now, and uh, that, that's high quality maker. Um, and parents who I never met bought the piano in the early 1900s, I think it was 1903. Came into our home because my wife, Lyra, she was the only Dixon playing. Here come our six kids, and uh, oh my goodness, did we have fun in the holidays and on Sabbath days. My mother has the gift of being really musically talent, talented in the sense that she can pick up like any song with ease. So I grew up with lots of piano, lots of music, and it was a great experience for me and my family. Every Sunday morning, she'd play hymns and wake us all up. And it was like the calmest way to wake up a family with six kids um, mm -hmm. ever. And it was effective, and it helped us to get up and and really brought a spirit into our home, um, a love into our home that then could stay and linger for the rest of the day. One day while I was practicing the violin, I needed to hear the piano part, so I asked her to play it, and she did. The piano still has the original ivories as part of it. Um, still has the original receipt. Uh, back all those years ago. My grandfather was musical as well. John Staley Dixon said he could play any instrument. He played with Bob Wills early on in his days and then the Light Crusto Boys, which is one of the longest running bands in, in, uh, in the world. Um, it's, it is a family heirloom and one that is uh, that we treasure. And um, it's a beautiful instrument, a beautiful piano. My mom isn't the only one who's ever loved it. Aside from my siblings and close relatives, I feel a deeper connection to my great grandpa, who I never met, but I know that he loved this piano so much. My mom influenced my musical journey by teaching me one song when I was 10 years old. She taught me how to play the piano. She played the piano a lot. She influenced me to play the piano myself. One of my favorite memories of the piano are from our family evenings on Monday nights. Uh, we would all gather around the piano and sing our opening and closing. Family home evening, by the way, uh, is a is a very um, uh, particular thing for for members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints, where where uh, Monday is traditionally it's 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 not necessarily a. a, a mandatory thing but it's kind of a traditional thing where where families gather together on monday night to do really anything together and so that's what she's referring to there if you're not aware songs together with my mom accompanying us on the piano it was such a blessing in my life to be able to play the piano i'm very grateful that that she that she signed me up for those lessons and got me started this piano is significant to me because of how much it is and has been loved Seeing how much my mom loves this piano makes me love it no matter what, and it brings us closer together. I just love how the piano brings people together, and like our cousins and our friends when they come over, we play the piano together. When I was honestly going through a rough patch in life, and I had kind of drifted away from playing the piano. During this hard time, I just decided to one day pick back up the piano. I was able to 
remove myself from the stress and problems of life and to be able to focus on music. The piano has been loved and loved and loved. Uh, it's in the center of our home and so anytime anyone passes it, it's really tempting uh, to just stop for a second and play it. It's hard to pass without playing it. She taught me that you can express your feelings without using words. If it weren't for her and her love for music, I would never have given the piano or music a try. The piano is very special, I've like, grown up with it, so always been there. And it's a very old piano, but it's very beautiful. It kind of represents my family because our family has been along, around for a long time. But yeah, it's still going strong for all the hardships in life. The piano has definitely brought scares at them, and as we've gathered around it, for like a whole bunch of different family activities. This family piano really is a part of our I know that this Mother's Day would be unforgettable if our piano got restored. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. That's, I mean, all, there's so much there. This, this was a really, um, I mean, so many, so many aspects of, of piano. I mean, from, from uh, not being able to pass the piano without touching it. That's, I, I love that. And, uh, and I love that she was taught that you can express yourself without words with the piano. And it's, it's kind of an emotional experience playing the piano. Obviously, across at least this one generation, they, they, didn't, they didn't get other generations, but I think that's implied that this piano has been passed down and this is just the current use of the, of the, of the piano, I guess, I think he said 27 years, something like that. But, uh, but it's been, been in their family for, for, for a number of generations. Um, beautiful. Yeah, very nice. Thanks, Dixon family.